Sean Meisner from bowhunterplanet.com. We're here at CP Oneida with Claude Pollington. We're going to ask him a few questions about uh, the business and their new products coming out. Can you tell us about the history of Oneida and how the business came to be formed? Uh, 82 is when they came out. <clears throat> They came out, uh, they worked on them for a few years, but that's the first one as they are today. The, uh, <clears throat> they went along pretty good. They kept getting better and better. And I think in 89, <clears throat> they'd done uh, like 28,000. Then in the 90s, they uh, came out with some new models, which took a lot, took a lot to do it. They came out with the Aero Force in 92, and then <clears throat> they sold the company. In fact, Remington tried to buy it then. And uh, something happened. This fella got in there and got a bought. And of course, he was started all new uh, things, which cost a lot of money, you know. Yeah. And uh, then by late. 90s, uh, he was in pretty tough shape, and that's when I bought the company. I helped him make the first Black Eagle, and I left the company there in uh, till 2000. It was there almost a year that I brought it here. It really, ever since, I've been trying to upgrade the bow. Uh, it's a, the basic idea is still exactly the same. When I bought the company over, there was all kinds of parts that weren't made proper. <clears throat> uh, hinges that were crooked, uh, limbs, just everything. And, it took me almost three years to develop the outboard limb out of carbon, which is really good. It's light, strong. Then uh, cam changes, uh, making new hinges that were perfect. All that took time. Uh, Rex from Darden uh, helped me a lot. He uh, he does grind my power limbs. Does a really good job. Uh, it's just been a slow process with all the other work to get the bow to where it is today. But it's it's getting there, and it's pretty hard for anything else to outdo it. The speed that you get with the ease of pull, they're shorter now. Uh, in the latest change there, new changes on the cams, plus quieting the bow down by containing the power cable. It took 90% of the noise out. Uh, when people shoot it, they want it. Oneida is known for making a bow that's different from the, uh, the standard. Can you tell us some of the benefits uh, behind your design? Well, the benefit is <clears throat> one thing, the separate timing. <clears throat> it doesn't change through string stretching. The, the uh, cables hold the force. And the, the uh, 
they don't change. You either break one or it's, which the breakage is not too much anymore. Can you tell us about the Oneida following? Um, it's known that you guys have a very loyal uh, fan base. People who uh, owe, own an Oneida seem to stick with the brand. That comes from the, the power limbs on the ball, if you have it at 60 pounds, are 600 pounds. And the leverage that you get in the ease of drawing, uh, you get a lot more speed <coughs> for the amount of input between that and uh, uh, the fact that they don't go out of tune. Can you tell us about the uh, design of the Oneida and how it came to be? You know, from what I understand, there was a fellow from Traverse City, a friend of Fred Bear's, okay. that went to New York and spent two weeks and came up with this design made the first one okay. and basically it's the same as what he had come up with. Okay. What changes can uh, the fans expect from Oneida in the f near future? Well I've been, I uh, bought the company in 2000 and I've been till now uh, getting it developed and getting it to where it can uh, Go ahead and do the job. It, the new one, are very nice. They're very fast. I hear you have a new model coming out possibly next year. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Is it, that going to be smaller, faster? It's a bit shorter. It's a little lighter. It's, uh, I mean, one thing I changed on it that appears to be very dramatic is by putting the arrow in the middle of the string, not not the shelf of the bow being in the middle. And uh, it appears to have really did a lot for it. Plus, it allows me to make it shorter.